So was last week's episode essentially law and order, but imperial? So just order? Hey everyone, Jeremy here today. I'm about to watch episode 9 of Andor. I can't believe we're already at episode 9. Granted, I took a couple of weeks off, so I'm a little behind as I'm recording these. But before I get into it, please remember to hit that like and subscribe. It helps my little channel out so very much and grows our wonderful little community who just love to talk about all these nerdy things that we enjoy. All right, now getting back into it. Yeah, episode 9 already. I mean... Once we got to six, so many people thought, I, I was talking to like my parents. My parents thought we got to episode six. They thought the series was over. They thought that was the season finale. And I'm like, no, 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 no. And, I, and one of my friends said the same thing. And I'm like, no, 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 no. We're, we're only halfway. We're only halfway through this wonderful series. And boy, howdy has it been still great. Uh, episode seven just kept the intensity going. And then last week last week going to prison with Cassian Cassian in jail was something else just the oppressive nature of that entire episode was incredible and I I'm just so thrilled to get these behind the scenes looks at things like the rebellion in its infancy and I should say the rebel alliance not necessarily the rebellion you know rebels have been out there it's the alliance part that we're really seeing uh, come together so to speak to announce itself and that has been really cool from behind the scenes from behind the scenes is what's been neat to me all right before i keep gushing let's get into this oh i forgot she has bex park attended a separatist meeting two years ago in jondora where he met a woman who suggested that if he was serious about politics he might like to act as liaison for ferrix when he returned home it's funny that they keep calling a lot of the people who joined the rebellion separatists. You're in my net, Bix. I don't know the buyer. Really? Really? Hmm. The very worst thing you can do right now is bore me. <sighs> Thank you. Uh, well, I went to hating her real fast. Real, real fast. They created such a stir that the Local commanders were granted permission to use any means necessary. They make a sound as they die, a sort of choral, agonized pleading. We've taken the recordings and modified them slightly, found a section of what we believe are primarily children, which has its own particular effect. You're using the death screams of children as torture. <sighs> Just when you it won't feel that way to you. Think the Empire can't get worse. <laughs> yep. Yep, yep. Knew it since that very first day. Two men back. Two weapons. No boots. Oh, he's already made an ally. Awesome. The D is for day shift. The 49 men in this room answer to me. <laughs> he's been plotting this since day one. I stand here today to speak with senators who've come with open minds. Turning off their lights to show they aren't supporting her. That when we enter this building, we are in a temple. Dagger. Something broken. What's he saying? Level two. He's coming this way around now. What's he saying? What? Uh. How many hands does it take for one word to get through up here? It's a long way, Kino. Yes, but you've got to Stand in place. Right. On program. We will have immediate facility compliance or we will begin activating floors without warning. Something. What is going on? Something's got them panicked. I want to know what it is. Six months? There's a lot to see. Wait, Vel is her... I don't have enough to worry about. Look at you. Cousin? The Empire doesn't rest, Mon. The Rebellion comes first. You think they're listening? 
You think they care enough to make an effort? Like you would know. <laughs> I know this. They don't need to care. Melch is right. We're cheaper than droids and easier to replace. Good luck to you. Nobody's listening. Nobody's listening! Is that wrong? Post. Good to see that's working out. You didn't question the mother? I decided to wait. Better now leaving her in place and standing back. She's too old and frail for anything serious. Perhaps they communicate. If they Man. are, we'll know. We're on her full time. I hate her, but I am so compelled to see her work. They don't know about it. If they were fried out. They're all gone. Who said? Both shifts. 100 men. I can't be right. You heard nothing. What did he say? I don't know. I don't know. What? She's gone. Why? The other day we're making trouble. On program. Keep our heads down. Until we know what's going on. But why do they do the entire floor? Let's go. Hands away. Yeah. Pull up. Get the old timer's just not gonna be able to keep up anymore. And he's so close to being done. Just the one night, Belle. If there is such a thing. I'm about to Chandra today. Well, oh, you need a widower at this point. Who's left of any value at your age? Yes. Wow. All the good ones are taken. We've had an influx of Chandra in here recently. Never thought those two would be related in any way. But it makes sense. You recruit those you trust. Hmm. Sir Corn. I know who you are. Have you been waiting out here? Yes. I'd never lie to you. Are you stalking me? I know you work here. And I come sometimes to see if I'll see you. <laughs> I am an ISB supervisor. Just being in your presence, I... I realized that life was worth living. I could have you arrested. You're aware of that. I want what you want. I sense it. I know it. You're out of your mind. Okay, Cyril. Um... That took a turn. That... that took a turn. We've got a rebel pilot in custody, one of Anto Krieger's group. He was picked up at a customs check. We don't think Krieger knows he's gone missing yet. What if we foul the ship? An accident, something mechanical. Have the pilot found dead in the cockpit. If we did it quickly, staged it properly, let it drift into traffic. Make it so top priority quickly and carefully wow. leave no trace. Excellent work. That is... Let's go. Uh, evil genius, I guess. Oh my goodness. On program. Cover him, cover him. Inmates on program. Olaf, look at me. Almost there, almost there. Kid him. He's not gonna survive. It's the cell. Man, he, he got zapped once, he'd be done. Oh, the med, the med tech is also a prisoner, because why not? Look at me, brother. His name is Olaf. I don't want to know his name. Get him back on his feet. That's another option. What? You can't save him. Nothing to save. He's had a massive stroke. Oh, my God. I can't help him. Can't help anyone. Another week like this, and you'll be begging for what he's getting. What happened on level two? You want to keep your men in line? You'll feel nothing. What are they doing there? What happened down on two? What are they doing? They made a mistake. A man who was just released on four ended up back on two the next day. Well, got out on the floor and then they killed them all. You need those other men there? They're just leaving. Now. If it was for a 
least. No one's getting out, are they? Not now. Oh, hands on your heads. Move. Oh my god. They're releasing them back into the system. They're just putting them into different teams. How different many guards on each level? Never more than 12. They kept saying nobody gets out of here and it felt like hyperbole, you know, just like, oh yeah, you, you either get worked to death or you rarely anybody gets paroled, whatever, something along those lines. I didn't really think it was literal in the sense that they're releasing them right back into the system. Now, granted, I, I did believe that, yeah, it was probably rare if ever that somebody gets out. It, it was probably one of those, yeah, one guy last year got out sort of a thing. Like it's that rare. I hadn't pictured the idea that they would say they're releasing someone from one cell from what or not cell, I guess, into another part of the into another team in another part of the prison. And that word got out that somebody, somebody in team two was originally from team four and they had been released because they talked because they said, yeah, I used to be on team four. I was supposed to be released. Now I'm on team two. It was essentially what I'm expecting happened. All of team two learned that. And the Imperials fried them. The Imperials killed a lot of them to keep that secret. Because if you destroy everyone's hope that they are getting out of there, then you are absolutely going to see riots. You are absolutely going to see your productivity tank, you're going to see absolute anarchy in that prison if you're not careful. And yeah, even our supervisor, Andy Circus, who's awesome in this, by the way, he knows now there's there's no getting out. There's no getting out at all. Now, now that that rumor has even spread once, they're never gonna let anybody out because they can't. They can't risk anyone learning what they're really doing there. You know, outside of the Empire, anyway. It's sick. It's so sick and twisted and yet brilliant in, in a sick and twisted way because it's, oh no, keep our perfect slave labor going. Cassian, I think, I think it was Cassian that said it in the episode that, you know, they're cheaper than droids. There you go. And more expendable, too, because, you know, you're just replacing a warm body. You don't have to replace droid parts. Those are expensive. Huh. Oh, and I did not expect Cyril to go full, you know, stalker in this episode. Wow, that was a that was a different thing that happened. Now, granted, he has an obsessive personality. He, he got obsessed with Andor. He still is obsessed with Andor. So now he's becoming obsessed with this this ISB agent. I'm I, I'm trying to determine what's going to happen there. I used to think that you know because of his obsession with Andor that he would get. Yeah, not necessarily recruited by the ISB, but I thought he'd get brought in, like kind of like what he happened last week, but he would stay in the fold. Like they would keep him around for one reason or another. The fact that he would just start stalking or cheerleading the ISB agent that's after Andor is... Wow, Cyril. Just... No, buddy. Um, how about you not? What's really even more twisted about it is it's not her. It's, and it usually is this, it's, it's the idea, but it's not the idea of her. It's the idea of the empire. Like he has such reverence for the empire. He has a, such a need there to fill something in himself in regards to the empire that he sees her as this symbol that he is now attaching himself to, that she is this shining beacon of everything he loves about the Empire and everything right about it. And she is doing the things that he couldn't do. And my goodness, she should be just applauded now and worshiped. And I, I had to stand out here all day to see you just to thank you for your service. That is a man who has been completely overtaken by the propaganda. And it's strange to see it manifest this way. But you know it does. You know it does when it comes to things like this, when it comes to ideologies like this. And yeah, man, Cyril, I, I don't see a good end for this guy. I never have, but it, it, it's getting worse and worse. 
at this rate. It almost makes you think that uh, that that uh, Daedra <laughs> isn't rethinking. Wow, I, you know, I thought I was loyal to the Empire. I thought I liked the Empire. This guy scares me. <laughs> you know, <laughs> when you get her to rethink love of the Empire in the context of what his love of the Empire is, you know you've gone too far. Oh man, so next week we're coming up on the end of this three-episode arc. I'm assuming this is a three-episode arc because that's the way they've been kind of doing it this time. So that makes me think that next week's episode is going to be the prison break. It's got to be. Next week has to be the prison break. Oh yeah, and speaking of the ISB, it is very funny that I went from talking last time about how Daedra was really interesting to watch and how I found myself kind of cheering for her because, you know, she was smarter than everybody else and they kept treating her poorly. Will that change this week drastically? Because quite frankly, I now hate her, especially after, I mean, I always knew that she was the bad guy, but yeah, I'm not going to cheer her on anymore. I'm compelled by her. I'm very compelled to watch her work because she is so intelligent. It is just her ability to maneuver in this sphere, the, this spycraft sort of sphere, is incredible. But I hate her. <laughs> she is the bad guy. And especially after seeing what she did with Bix. Oh my goodness. You do not touch her. That, that Now, now, now you've gone too far. And yeah, uh, now I can't wait to see her lose. Yeah, if she touches Marva, it's over. It's over. Ooh, and I'm afraid that's next. So yeah, it's very funny how that just changes dramatically because we take her from different settings. When she was in the ISB setting, it was easy for me to cheer for her to go, yeah, you put one over on the other guys. But once you put her in a real world setting, so to speak, when you put her out chasing down rebels and seeing what she's actually doing, yeah, suddenly she's a villain. <laughs> suddenly she is full villain. And I'm like, no, 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 you can, you, you, you can get tossed out an airlock. I, I, I'm not crazy about you anymore. <laughs> Context is key. All right, we are getting to the end of our three episode arc though. This is the end. I don't think we're gonna get any sort of wrap up with the ISB because I don't feel like they had much of an arc. I mean, their arc is chasing down the leads. I, I feel like that's the seasonal arc is that. But as far as this three episode arc for Cassian, I feel like that's about to wrap up next week. They are going to have their prison break. I, I almost guarantee it. I'd almost, I'd, I'd bet real world money on that, that next week will be the prison break. And boy, howdy, is that going to be ugly? I'm, I'm guessing that's going to be ugly because you're gonna have all the prisoners. If all the prisoners find out what's really going on, if they find out that they have just been recycling everybody and killing those that find out. The whole place. The whole place will erupt. But the problem is, if it erupts, they'll just kill them all. They'll just kill everybody in there. And they have the power to do it. So they have to be careful about how they do this. Because if you have an entire section that just starts rioting, click, they're gone. They're dead. So they're going to have to be careful how they do this. They're almost going to have to, Andor's going to have to break in to one of those rooms and disable that floor panel. There's no way. I don't know if they can get the whole prison out. I don't know if they could get the whole prison out. That That's sad. I was kind of hoping they get the whole prison out, but I don't think they'll be able to. I think they'll just be able to get into the one room that controls their area and maybe get all those guys out. But we'll see. We'll see. Oh, next week's going to be good. Next week's going to be so good. All right. What did you guys think of this episode? Leave your comments below. Are you as worried about them getting out of the prison next week as I am? Did your mood shift about Daedra this week like it did for me? Were you surprised about Vel being Mon's cousin as I was? Whatever your thoughts, leave them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, like I mentioned at the beginning, remember to hit that like and subscribe. And before I go, as always, please take care of yourselves and please take care of each other. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.